Okay, L.A. Relic Hunter here. Yesterday out hunting a uh, old site in the 1840s, found a, uh, a gun. It's a uh, double barrel shotgun. It would have been uh, one they would have used uh, primer caps on. You can kind of tell by the two nubs at the end. It's not an open breech gun. Um, looking underneath it after knocking some rust off of it. You can see some brass right here. That would have been a, probably a loop right there and connector here for your wood. You'd have had a rod that, that slid down through here because you'd actually uh, push the bullet through the front of the barrel, which uh, some of the barrels missing, obviously, unless this was a coach gun, which could have been a coach gun, actually. Um, they made a lot of them back then. So, uh, Anyway, what I'm doing is uh, after cleaning it and uh, before any kind of electrolysis or anything starts, what I want to do is check to make sure it's loaded or not loaded. And, you know, most people just take a dowel rod and they stick it down the end of the barrel and uh, then they measure it to the outside. And, oh, yeah, it's loaded or it's not loaded. But I have this little tool. It's uh, I got this one from Snap-on. You can get different versions. Uh, this one's a color screen. Uh, you can adjust brightness. It has a light on the end of this. Uh, this here is your uh, little probe, and it has a light on it and a, a very good camera. So what we're going to do is uh, take and run it down the barrel. I purchased this mainly for uh, guns. I collect guns, and when I buy guns, if it's an expensive gun, I want to make sure that I'm getting a good a good rifling, good board, my gun, and I'll, sometimes I'll bring this with me. People think I'm nuts, but uh, I like to check my guns out real well. This also works great in old plantations, old house sites. If you want to look in the wall, instead of having to chop through the wall with an axe or something and tear the place up, trying to see if they stash something in the walls, you can use this. Just drill a very small hole or use an existing hole and uh, run this little camera in here and you'd be surprised what you see in houses that are uh, over a hundred years old you know and you can also hook it up audio to a big screen you can uh, do some recording with different stuff but anyway we're going to check this gun out and make sure all i've done is is uh basically wash it off knock a few of the loose rust off of it but uh got the camera on and uh what we're going to do is i'm going to take this thing and I'm gonna run it down the first barrel and we'll see what's in there. This is uh, what I'm looking at here is inside the barrel. So we're gonna, we're gonna go down this barrel. Tell you what, if I was purchasing a gun, I would uh, definitely be like, uh, this ain't the one for me. <laughs> uh, after a hundred plus years, it, the uh, elements do a job on a, on a firearm, but anyway, going down here, let's see what we got here. Looks like to me, nothing there. We're almost to the end, and uh, there you go. There's the uh, actually where your fire would come through from the primer cap, that little area right there. So no lead, no uh, shell in this this barrel here. So that's that's good. So I'm gonna come out. It's amazing. Look at all that. It's, it's like going down a cave. But anyway, let's check the other barrel real quick. And I'm just gonna take it out. We're gonna swap over go to the next barrel. We're gonna see what's down in this barrel. And again, this barrel here looks about the same as the other one. Um, see what we got here. Uh, at first I thought it was a little piece of buckshot, but now it looks like uh, rust. I'm going to have to bend it a little bit, try to work around this area here. There we go. You can, uh, this thing's so flexible, that's what I like about it. You can kind of go around obstacles and, and uh, see what you got there. Alright, getting toward the end. Um, let's see. Oh, there she is. And there's the other primer hole. I don't know if you can 
see that, but um, I know exactly what I'm looking for down in here. But uh, that is primer hole, and that's where it would have got the fire for the shell to actually go off. Very interesting. So we're going to back it back out. I can tell you now it's uh, got some mud on it. And you can see right there, that's just mud from being in the ground. That's what had kind of messed up the vision on it. But that's how I check guns. And uh, this little tool is awesome. It's, uh, it's not cheap, but um, very efficient, you know. You could actually use it in a hole if you uh, had a deep, deep hole and you want to go down into it even deeper. Uh, take a uh, dowel rod and push in and, you know, if you hit a cavity or something, stick this thing down and see what you got, you know. Uh, it's also water submergible. You can stick it under water if you were looking for bottles. With the light, it's, it's real, comes in real handy. You don't have to, you know, dig around in the mud as much. Um, but anyway, that's how I check my, uh, my fire worms and, uh, a little electrolysis and, man, this puppy will be ready for display. Man, I'd hate to be been on the receiving end of this thing. Whew. Anyway, L.A. Relic Hunter. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.